Hello, my little mathematicians. Today, we're going to learn how to write algebraic expressions from stories. Um, so I'm going to help you get started on your homework assignment. Um, let's see, I'll do like a few from each section. From this top section, um, they're going to give you a story, and then you're going to try to match which one of these equations it goes with. So let's do four together. It says Nadine had $10 and spent some money at the store. Which expression represents how much Nadine had after spending money at the store if n represents how much money she spent. So how much did you start with? Nadine started with 10. And then if you spend money, what does that mean? Do you add, subtract, multiply, or divide that amount? Yeah, you subtract it. And do we know how much she spent? No, that's why it's n, the variable. So which one of these matches that? Um, wait, is it b or c? Are they the same thing? No, totally different, because let's say n is 1, 1 minus 10 is negative 9, and 10 minus 1 is positive 9. So these are very different. So which one of these matches this? Well, 10 is how much she started with, and then n is how much she spent, so that's how much I'm going to subtract. So the correct answer should be C. Okay, um, so that's how you would do the top section. For this bottom section down here, what you're going to do is you're going to... Um, read the story, and then a lot of times you'd have to come up with the equation, or sorry, the expression, and then define what the variable is. But this time they already gave you the expression and they want you to define what the variable stands for in this situation. So let's do number six together. It says Desiree drinks water from a bottle every day. So far, she drank seven ounces of water. The algebraic expression for the amount of water left in her bottle is N minus seven. What does N represent? Okay, so seven is how much she drank, right? So if this is how much she drank, what's N? Um, N must be the amount of water Desiree starts with. Okay, and it says, you know, she starts with some amount, we don't know. And then after she starts with that amount, then she drinks, so seven ounces goes away. There you go, I just defined my variable. Um, let's try this tricky one down at the bottom. It says, Celia types at a rate of 50 words per minute. The algebraic expression for the number of minutes she types is n divided by 50. What does n represent? Now, if it's hard to figure out, like I mean, some of you already think you figured out what n represents, great. If it's a little bit harder, maybe try and make a little table for yourself. Okay, so the two things we're talking about is it's the number of words, right, that she does, and um, how long it takes, right? So the number of minutes it takes to type that many words. So right here it says 50 words per minute, which means you can do 50 words in one minute. So after two minutes, how much can um, Celia do? She can double that and do 100, okay? So right here, if like, you know, to go from this to this, what are you doing? Well, I'm subtracting 49, technically, right? 50 minus 49 is one. But does that pattern hold up? What's 100 minus 49? Definitely not two. What's another way I can go from 50 to one? If I divide by 50, right? And then does that pattern hold up? What's 100 divided by 50? Two, okay. So then what you do is um, when you're dividing something by 50, that's equal to the number of minutes, right? So in the expression they said, it even represents the number of minutes. So when you're trying to find the number of minutes, you take the number of what? The number of words and you divide it by 50. So that means that this N right here represented the number of words. And that was pretty tricky. So that's why I really like um, setting up a table to help you figure out which one it is. Okay, that's this one. Don't forget, it's a two-pager assignment. So let's try maybe some on the back. Um, I'll do number 12 with you guys. It says, Reed and Matthew earn a weekly allowance. Reed always gets six more each week because he is older than his brother Matthew. Okay, so try and see if you can fill out the table and create the equation. Um, who are you talking about? Reed and Matthew. Okay, remember you can always pause the video, unpause it, and come back and check. 
Um, once I set up my two people, I always like to determine like who gets more and who gets less. Well, um, it says Reed always gets six more each week. So Reed is more, which means Matt is less. Um, so let's just, I don't know, make up a number. Okay. So, uh, if this guy's more like, it doesn't matter what I start with here. Cause I'm always going to add something to it. How much more does Reed get? He always gets six more. So this would be seven. So if this was two, two plus six would be eight. Okay. Let's make it a bigger number. What if it was, I don't know, 10. Um, I still would take Matt's amount and add six to it. Right. And 10 plus six is 16. So notice that each time Reed is always going to be six more than whatever Matt is. Now, if they want you to write an expression, um, they're saying write an algebraic expression for how much money Matthew gets. Whenever you write an expression, it's always in terms of the other person. So if I want it to represent Matthew, then it's going to be in terms of Reed, right? So we're going to use R to represent Reed. Um, so, because think about it, if this was unknown, then that means they gave me this, right? So what do I do to here Reed's amount in order to get to Matt's amount? What do I do to the eight to get to the two? I would subtract six. Does that pattern hold up? Yeah, seven minus six would give me one. 16 minus six would give me 10. So I take whatever Reed's amount is, subtract six from it, and that's gonna give me Matt's amount. So Matt's amount is always whatever Reed is minus six. So that would be your algebraic expression for Matthew. It's always in terms of the other person. Okay, um, if you haven't tried any on your own, definitely, you know, try number 14 before we go over it together. So pause it, try it, and then unpause it and come back. Uh, if you're back with us, it says, at the arcade, Grant can earn, ten, uh, can earn tickets and redeem them for prizes. He wants to spend them all to get stickers, which cost 10 tickets each. <clears throat> Write an algebraic expression for the number of stickers Grant can get using T to represent the number of tickets he'll have to spend. So... I'm talking about the number of tickets I need to spend in order to get some number of stickers. Okay, according to this, it says 10 tickets uh, to get me just one sticker. Okay, so to get two stickers, how much is it going to cost me? It's going to cost me 20 tickets. To get three stickers, how much is it going to cost me? That's right, 30 stickers because another or sorry, another 10 tickets to get me three stickers. Okay, so if I'm going this way, how do you go from 10 to one? You would divide by 10. But if I'm going this way, how do you get from two to 20? You would times 10. So you see how like, depending upon the way you go, sometimes you divide, sometimes you multiply. Um, we want it to be right an algebraic expression for the number of stickers Grant can get. So if I wanna know the number of stickers, that means it has to be in terms of the terms of um, the number of tickets, right? And hence they even gave you a hint, use T to represent the number of tickets. So if I wanna find the number of stickers, that means this would be unknown and this would be known. Okay, so whatever this is, what do I do to this in order to get to here? That's going from here to here. What do you do to the 30 to get to the three? That's right, you divide by 10. So if you notice, to going to 20 to two, you divide by 10. 10 to one, you divide by 10. Anytime you go from this side to this side, you would divide by 10. So I'm gonna take the number of tickets and divide by 10 in order to give me the number of stickers that I can get. So T divided by 10 would be my expression to represent how many stickers I can get. All right, um, good job my little mathematicians if you got those right. If not, you still have a few more to try. Um, to redeem yourself. You got this. You're going to do great.